This video is brought to you by Reset Games. At ResetGames.com, you can buy, sell, or trade new and used games from all eras of gaming. You can see trade-in values instantly, trade-in for credit or cash, and all of the bags for shipping your games will be provided at no charge. From PlayStation 3 all the way back to the old school Nintendo, Reset Games will have the titles that you are looking for and so much more. So check them out on their website at www.ResetGames.com and tell them that BCS Buster sent you. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Well, last time was a particularly sad episode as we lost Dine and you know, he committed suicide. But he also gave us a way to get out of here and we now are going to go enter a chocobo race and see if we can't get out of this godforsaken place. Yes, we have decided. A manager? What, well, I was like, uh, let's see, what kind of manager do I want? <clears throat> if I had, uh, you know, like Bobby the Brain Heenan or... Uh, you know, Paul Bearer, that'd be awesome. But by the way, rest in peace, Paul Bearer. You are a, a fine, fine man, and we will miss you deeply uh, in the world of professional wrestling. Okay, but anyways, Esther is going to be our manager. Hey, what do you mean she may look kind of funny? <laughs> That's kind of rude. Yeah, no kidding. How rude. All right, then. Okay, so we're going to get sent up on the elevator, and we're going to get to finally race in the Chocobo races. Oh. Uh, there are many different types of Chocobo jockeys. What do you mean, people like me? Oh, that'd be great. Uh, sure. Auto or manual? Uh-huh. And for those time, you're going to want to use manual. Oh, I see. Oh, very cool. All right. Uh, okay, sounds good. Right, that makes sense. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Once the first and second uh, Chocobo cross the goal line. Oh, okay, so yeah. And uh, that will be very helpful, especially later on when we do more Chocobo races for real. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm actually Cloud. I'm not new. <laughs> hey, Joe! <laughs> so, Coates thinks she's funny looking, but Joe thinks that she's cute. Interesting. Oh, very good. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm an up-and-coming jockey. <laughs> Wow. Well, you know, you might have uh, gotten a little bit of help, but that's okay. Uh, don't worry about it. Hmm, nope, we'll never see each other again. All right, fair enough. Uh, okay, so we just get to hang out. Now, before we go on, if we head over here, we get the Ramu materia, which is like the, which is the lightning version of a uh, of a summon. Oh, uh, apparently these guys don't really want to talk to us. Oh, okay, so it's almost time to begin. Skills don't matter once you get in the race. What are you talking about? Okay, looks like we're ready to go. So we'll just uh, wait for these guys to clear out, and then we'll take a moment. And we'll get ready to rock and roll. Okay. We've registered. We're all ready to go. Oh, great. Oh, good. Yeah, we got it. We're good. Okay. Looks like we're ready. Here we go. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is switch it to manual. And away we go. Now, first thing I'm doing is I'm pulling down the circle button to, to speed up there. By the way, if you hold down the uh, the R1 and R2 buttons, um, you regain stamina as the race goes. So, and I'm, again, I'm just I'm pushing down the, the square button a bit so we can get some speed going. So yeah, just hold R1 and R2, and yeah, and, you're, and I'm doing okay. I'm in real good shape. Yeah, and don't let your stamina get too low. As your stamina gets too low... Um, you know, your, your chocobo will kind of give up there. Okay, I'm going to slow down just a little bit here. 
So I'm far enough ahead now that I should be okay. And again, just hold down R1 and R2 and regain some stamina as you go. Ooh, we've entered the tunnel. Music is uh, getting a little, uh, a little different there. Yeah, I'm doing really well. Okay, oh man. Oh, he's getting close. Oh, the other people are starting to catch up to me. We gotta hurry up. Okay, I don't wanna let my stamina completely die. Okay, and let's do a last push of speed to cross the finish line, and. Woo! We got it! Oh, we have the nice uh, original Final Fantasy music. That's kind of a nice touch. Push the start button to end. And now we're home free! Woohoo! Oh. Yeah, it was pretty straightforward, actually. Oh, very cool. Very nice. Oh, a little gift, eh? Man, what, dude, you run the gold saucer. What could you possibly have to do? Wait a minute. Hang on. But, oh, <laughs> Sorry, I thought my phone was ringing. Uh, actually, my ringtone is actually uh, a Final Fantasy battle theme. So, Oh, and now we can go over deserts and rivers with no problem. Whoa! Sephiroth! He seems like he's heading south of the river towards Gungaga. Um, if you ever get your own race choke, we'll come back again. And we'll talk about that a lot later in the game. Very nice. <coughs> All right, and we are good to go. Um, you know what? This party seemed to work pretty well, so I'm going to keep this party for right now. So let's do it. And now we're back on the world map, and we have the buggy. Woohoo! We can never enter Costa del Sol in general. Ooh, that's very nice. So let's get out of here then. And now we are ready to move on to the next part of our journey. Okay, now we could go on and face Sephiroth, but now that we have the buggy, we have a few things that we can do. So, let's get let's start by um, driving around the desert here. We still run into enemies in the buggy. And there's a particular enemy that I'm looking for. And I don't think this is it. Nope, this is not it. But let's use uh, Major Magic to take these things out. Flying Sickle! Ow! Yeah, I'm, and I want Barrett to start taking out enemies because, um, you know, I want to build his limit break up to the next level. Or I want to, um, have him... Come on, get to Barrett's turn. There you go. I want to have him, um, start getting to the next level of limit break. And we have to do that by killing enemies. Jeez. Well, Yuffie's got a limit break. And then for Cloud, you know, we want him to use his limit break so he can get to the second level of his limit break. Oh. Well, it didn't really work out, the way, work out the way I wanted to, but that's okay. Maybe she have to use Beta. Alright, we got ice, ice Materia to get a level up. That's cool. Okay. Now there's a particular enemy I'm trying to look for, so I'll drive around on the buggy until I find him. Uh, do I need to do anything else? Um, yeah, that one's going. Um, actually, I can get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay, very good. Okay, now I'll uh, I'll drive around and talk. Actually, I'm gonna heal up first, and then I'll drive around and get the enemy that I want, and be back once I have done that. Aha! Here's the enemy I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Harpy, yes. Now, I want him to use... Actually, wait, I think we need to manipulate him before he can do this. Yep. Got him. And now, let me uh, get to his turn. Yes, Aqua Lung. That's the one that I want to use, and I want him to use it on us. Now, you need to be careful, because this can do a lot of damage. Ooh! <laughs> Okay, uh, let's have him use Aqualung on himself. Because that's got it. 
because he can do a lot of damage to himself. Yeah, the good thing about that is, um, you know, it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't knock him out of uh, manipulate because it's a magic ability. Got him. All right, got it. But yeah, whew, took I took a beating there. Sorry, there's no uh, vocal or there's no uh, sound effect for that. They're usually like a bubble sound, but and if you want, you can look it up on YouTube. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to head south, and uh, let's see. Now I believe. Let me make sure I get this right exactly right, so I know where I'm going. <coughs> All right. Now we want to head down here. And I want to try and find a beach area. Okay. So now I want to hang out by this area. And now look for a particular enemy while driving on the beach. And I'll drive around until I find that. Is this the one I'm looking for? Beach plug, yes. Okay, so let's manipulate one of them. Hopefully this will work. Yes, okay, very good. And Barrett, you attack the other one, because I kind of want to build up your... Uh... All right, and the skill I want to learn is Big Guard. Big Guard's very useful. You can learn, I believe it casts, um, yeah, it's, it, it basically allows you to uh, uh, cast Haste, um, Shell, and Protect on yourself. So that can be pretty useful. Now, unfortunately, Shell and Protect don't last too long, but it's still a useful skill to have. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to make my way back to the Gold Saucer. And to do that, I'm going to go back to uh, make my way back to North Corel, and then uh, heading up to the ropeway to the Gold Saucer. So I'll meet you back there, and then we'll continue on with what I want to do next. By the way, as a reminder, if you want to get to North Corel, just go back to the Gold Saucer and go north um, to the dot, pretty much just north, uh, north and slightly west to it, and that will allow you to enter North Corel. Now I believe there's actually a treasure I forgot to get here earlier. Okay, now I'll see if I can show you that here. Okay, now what I want to do is I need this woman to move out of the way. If you do that, yeah, you get an ether from that chest right there. From that little pot there, and now it's... There we go. So, a lot of people missed that one, so I wanted to show you that one, and I forgot to get that last time. Okay, now let's make our way back up to the Gold Saucer. And we're going to be spending a lot of time in the Gold Saucer throughout the game. Not so much now, but uh, later on in the game we will for sure. And away we go! Unfortunately, it skips the whole animation where we, you know, just go through all the clouds and stuff like that. But, there you go. Okay, very good. Now, because we have the lifetime pass, we can just walk right in. And now I want to head to the battle square. So let's head over there. Whee! Alright, and what do we got here? Uh, yes. Oh, so they want somebody that's going to go in there and whoop some ass. So we can do that. Alrighty, and now we're here in the battle square. So, let me take a second, and then we'll go over this. Okay, we're all ready to go to enter the battle square. Now, there's a couple things that I did. First thing was, I gave Cloud the enemy skill material that has all of what we have so far, because that was going to be very useful. I also gave him the restore materia, and I also equipped the white cape on him to protect against frog and small, and that's going to be helpful um, in the next little bit there. Um, you know what? I'll give him a silver armlet, too. Why not? Increase his defense a little bit. Why don't I give him one more materia? Uh, let's give him, you know what? I took that, uh, I took the steel material off first, so let's, uh, Let's give that to Cloud there. Not that it really matters, but... Okay, very good. What? What happened? Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. Dying. He kind of went crazy. That's a pretty sad episode. Okay. Well, anyways. 
A one on one battle. And of course, we'll send Cloud in there. Oh, I see. Okay, sounds good. Well, let's do it then. Now, if you played the demo version of Final Fantasy VII, um, you would have got. You played through this sequence, kind of the battle square. Um, so that was kind of cool. The brave do not fear the grave. See how that's written on the ground there? I think that's kind of cool. Okay, now, first thing we want to do is cast Big Guard. Um, that's one of the reasons that I got it. And not so much for the, um, for the, um, the protect and the shell, but more for the haste. Because I want to be able to have haste throughout this, pretty much this whole battle. Okay, got him. Great. Of course! <laughs> Which is, of course, a mistranslation of of course. Um, yeah, good job, guys. Okay, now, as I mentioned before, there's going to be a handicap that's going to happen here. Now, I do not want the HP one. Oh, accessory is broken. Okay, crap. Well, I don't have access to Frog and Small anymore, but that's all right. Okay. Major Magic. Yeah, Major Magic is going to be your friend for a lot of this battle. Or for the, for the first few parts of the battle. Okay. Now, let's see. Another one. And my armor is broken. Okay, so basically I've lost a bunch of defense. That's all right. Don't put me to sleep. Please don't put me to sleep. Whew. Okay, good. Yeah, sometimes if you're lucky, you can even get in, like, two attacks. With haste. Yeah, see, like that? I think, I think I had to fight this guy, uh, earlier. In the game. Um, back in the train graveyard. Wait, would you stop it? Please let me get a turn. Thank you. Jesus, guys. He's got a lot of HP. Man, I don't remember this guy being this difficult. That's okay. <sighs> Thank you. Jeez. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, nah, that lucky seven would be kind of cool. Nope. Command material is broken. Okay, that's no problem. Wait. Actually, that's a big problem. Because now I can't use enemy skill. Oh, crap. Okay, this just got a little bit more difficult, DCS Universe. But that's okay. As long as I have haste, we're okay. Okay, now I do not want to get the weapon one. Okay, half MP. Alright, I can deal with that. Oh, did I have any summons? Yeah, it's like I thought I had a summon. Uh, sure, let's take him out. Ow! Level 4 Suicide. Uh, wait. Is he level 4? Oh, crap. Well, that isn't very good at all. Man, I'm going to have to use an Ether after. Actually, hopefully this will... This will kill him. Woo! Yeah, Ramu. Nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Okay, let's see. Half HP and MP. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to use an elixir. Get it off, Cloud. Whew. Okay, good. You got it off. Okay, now let's limit break. Now, unfortunately, my accessory was broken. Otherwise, Mini would not have been a problem. Because I'd be protected against it. But that's alright. Oh, jeez. That didn't work so well at all. Okay. Let's use some Bolt there. See, as you can tell, these battles can get pretty tricky. And you have to be a little bit lucky to win. Alright. Come on. I didn't even finish him? Oh, lord. Okay, well, let's try Bolt, I guess. Yeah, I may have to end after this one and just take my battle points and try again. And don't ever be afraid, BCS Universe, to... There we go. Got him. 371 battle points. Uh... Let's see. Can we do it? It's going to get pretty tricky from here on out. Um, uh, no, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. Because I just have too many... 
too many things going against me. All right. Now we got a consolation prize, a tissue. That's cute. Uh, no. Okay, so now let's go and check out some of the prizes that we can win. Now, unfortunately, that's not what I wanted to do, but... Uh, no, I know what to do here. Alright, let's check out some of the prizes that we can win here. Yeah, so we've got some different items here, and... All this good stuff, and... Ooh, the championship belt, which is a nice accessory. Now, I'm not going to try and go for it right now, because it's just not worth my time. Um... But it can increase your strength and vitality with 30. So if you want to do that, you can. But uh, I changed my mind. All right, very good. All right. Your your points become invalid once you leave the battle arena, which is kind of which kind of sucks. But that's okay. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to uh, reset, and I'm going to try and win eight in a row. So uh, let's get going with that. Okay, let's give this another shot. <coughs> Alright, very good. Eight battles, eh? Alright, let's do it. Okay, so you've seen how this works, so I'll just get this thing started. And then what I'll do is I'll just edit out all the battles until I get to the last one. And then once I've gotten to the last one, then I'll just show you that one and show you what it takes to win all eight. Oops, I forgot to cast Big Guard, so. Okay, very good. And let's keep going. Let's see if I can get that frog one, because that'd be good. Perfect. Yeah, because I got the cloud on, and now because I had the white cape on, it shouldn't do anything to me. Perfect. Okay, so now I'll be back once I have won all eight battles. Okay. And the one more and one more toad. Alright, now this is our last battle. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and use an elixir. It's okay. Hopefully we'll survive this. Whew. Cutting it real close. Yeah, you know, we're going to get enough elixirs in the game that it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, you can use an elixir here and it's okay. Because we'll get a nice prize. Now, Aqualung should finish these guys off. <coughs> <coughs> Got him! Woohoo! I did it! And I survived all eight battles. My goodness, that was not easy. Alright, and we gained some battle points. A, a tissue. Oh, that's cute. Okay, well now, the, since the, the points, um, you know, if you leave the arena, they become invalid. Oops, they, they become invalid, so let's see what we can get here. Fury ring, enemy lore. Yeah, let's get a fury ring, sure. Uh, let's see, and let's get some Mimic Greens. Okay, very good. Let's see what that Fury Fury, Fury Ring can do. Automatically puts you in Berserk, so that can be kind of useful. Um, but for right now, let's get our Strength back. Okay, very good. Now, I believe, but for winning all eight battles, there's a person you can talk to. Yeah, there you go. And we get the Sprint Shoes, and that's the whole reason I wanted to do that, because... If we equip those, it will automatically give you auto haste, and that's so important in this game. Actually, no, but I'm, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll just give him that. So, okay, well, that's all I want to do here at the uh, the gold saucer. But there's a few other things that I want to do uh, with the buggy. But what can we do with the buggy? What other fun things will we be able to learn? You're gonna have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out the donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.